Hi everyone, it's Nisha. Uh, today I wanted to do a very, very small haul, uh, but also I've been planning on telling you about this um, Ilan Masca Hollow Cream Pigment. Um, I don't know if you remember in one of my hauls, I, I told you about it because I've heard it was very good for doing the contour, but then I found out that it wasn't really for me, it was a bit too light. I think if you're very pale, it might work for you. I think the other one that I should buy for contouring was Delirium. But I'm not going to get it for now. Um, so, because I can't use it as a contour, I thought, well, it's a pigment, it's matte, it's for to use anywhere on your body. So, I've decided to use it as an eyeshadow or eyeshadow primer. And that's what I have on today. So, I just put um, this all over my lid and then took my um, Sonia Kashak Perfect, Perfectly Neutral Palette um and i used this one because it's very similar to the ilamasca hollow and just went over it and then put a bit darker one in a crease and i thought you know that'll be perfect just like a um quite neutral look so that's what i'm going to use it for to be honest i've, I've never tried any other um, pigments from Ilan Masca. They do uh, ones that are called liquid, liquid something. They are like, you know, really metallic. Um, by the way, I've used that trick that Ghost Makeup Artist um, showed in his latest video and I think in my Inglot eyeshadow tutorial I put link to it is amazing you have to watch it I mean it works every time if you want a wing, winged eyeliner it's just so easy and I've never thought to use it that way so that's what I did and I have um, I have my boots false lashes uh, which are like half lashes they sort of start from here and go longer at the at the edge um, and these are called natural fan. I like the idea of, of them being just corner lashes, but the quality is not so good. They cost four pounds and the band is so stiff. It's so hard to, to put it on. So, but I like how they look. So I probably will keep buying them. So that's what I wanted to tell you about the Ilamasca, how I've started using it. And, um, I don't know how else I can use it. I, I really didn't like it as a contour. While I'm at it, I might as well tell you um, what I'm wearing. Um, right, for my foundation, as you know, my my latest colour for my uh, Estee Lauder Double Wear was Tony, and I've just run out, so I just bought another one. But one of my subscribers to told me to try Rattan, which is shade lighter, but the intensity is more yellow. So I got, um, so thank you very much for that suggestion. And I did get a sample and that's what I'm wearing today. And I actually really like it. Um, I'm thinking even to swap it from Tony to, to the Rattan. I don't know, I might keep it and just get the Rattan anyway. So I'm wearing that and then I have the usual Laura Mercier um, Classic Beige. Then I have the Ritual. On my cheeks I have NYX Blush in Dusty Rose. Um, and that's it. Oh, my lips. Uh, my lips, I did the L'Oreal um, liner in Rosewood and Tom Ford lipstick in Nude Vanilla. Um, so this is my, I don't know, strange look today. <laughs> anyway, um, 
Well, I wanted to tell you what I bought. So, so I've bought the new Estee Lauder in Tony, and um, I probably keep it because I really liked it, and I might buy the rattan one for for the winter. But I wanted to show you how late we are with most of the makeup here in the UK. I've seen you using this eraser for eye for ages. It's only just got here and it says new all over it. Oh my God, when I went to the shop and I saw it tucked in a corner, I wanted to go like swish and put it all in my bag because I so wanted to try it. A lot of you are really raving about it. So they had it only in two colors in light and nude and I got them both. Um, I do like it, I've, I've used it for a couple of days, I can't yet really, I'm trying to work out how to use it, where to use it, I'm trying it under my eyes and I'm not sure if, if it's settling in my lines or not, so um, I can't, I, I like it but I can't tell you yet if, you know, this is my new favourite. Um, so I need to use it for a bit longer but so far I like it and I like the um, the fact that it has uh, goji berry and holoxo in it and I don't know if you if you watch my videos and you saw my review about the Tranquility um, Banish Puffy Eye Creams and I was talking about um, talking about the ingredients that get rid of the puffiness and one of them was eyeless and the other one holoxo so that really really made me buy it goji berry i don't really know what goji berry does oh you see it actually says um micro correcting eye concealer instantly erases dark circles and fine lines and visibly diminishes under eye puffiness and I believe that because, you know, a lot of these things claim to get rid of under eye puffiness. But because I know that holoxyl is one of those ingredients, then I suppose if you use it every day, it should really help. So I bought two of those. I don't know if they come in different colours, but these two are okay. And then one, what I got, which I wanted for a long time, is Estee Lauder Pure Co Color Vivid Shine Lipstick. And Vivid Shine was their collection that came out not that long ago. I, I, I can't remember if it was spring or winter. I can't remember. Um, but these are amazing lipsticks. They have like um, all these particles and pearls in it that gives you that multi-dimensional no, shine of almost um, lip gloss but it feels like lipstick and it wears quite well and I got mine in electric mauve so that's usually comes in a beautiful case like this and I love it so there it is let me swatch it I don't know if you will be able to see um, the shimmer and and the different almost shades going through it. Right, the very similar one to this was remember this um, YSL Rouge Pour Couture in number thirty eight. Because when I swatched it, it had the same effect. It's, it's much lighter. But it had the same effect, you know, what I like, the, I was like iridescent to it. But as you know, I absolutely hate their YSL because it just sets in your lines and it's just the, the colour is beautiful, the formula is awful. So I, I try to use it and I just use it maybe with, with lip gloss. There it is. Right, do you remember this uh, Lancome lip gloss that I absolutely love, 316, I think it's called Pimp My Right. I can't remember what is the type of that lip gloss because 
the writing is the smallest you've ever seen. But that's what the Estee Lauder lipstick reminds me of. It's exactly the same color. Let me just put it next to it. Can you see? So it's the same sort of um, shade and obviously the, the gloss is much more intense, the shine on it. But if I put these two together in a sunshine, oh my God, I really, really love it. It's gorgeous. Um, they do quite few colors in that. I think some of them are limited edition, um, but there is beautiful coral one. Um, there is one called Coraline, I think. I think I want some more of those because I absolutely love it. And it does, you know, it's not going to stay on all day. It's very creamy and a bit gloss-like. Um, but I don't care. Like I said before, to me, it, I don't eat my lipstick much. My lipstick seem to stay on me for a long time. And... I find it pleasurable to reapply it. That's why I always have it with me. Um, otherwise, I would never use up the lipsticks. I like to reapply it. So I don't care if the lipstick doesn't last long. I just reapply it. So that was it. There was like um, this really short video that I wanted to show you what I do with this Ilamasca Hollow. Um, I think it's okay. And these few things that I've bought. I'm waiting on some um, new mascara that just came out from Max Factor. But I thought I will do a separate review for it. I actually try it and I review it. And also I'm waiting for um, Stila, one of these um, eyeliners that Lisa Lisa D1 said um, was perfect for doing this trick that... Um, Ghost Makeup Artist showed us. Okay, so that was it. Uh, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!